Joining us on our exclusive guest segment is a TV content producer. He's a writer as well. He's the executive producer of the popular TV series, The Bachelor's Round. He's also a voting member of the Aspect and was uh, the head judge for African Magic Viewers Choice Award for three consecutive years, 2012 to 2014. Please join me in welcoming Femi Ojigbeni. How are you doing, sir? Doing very well. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, uh, yeah. So, okay, seeing you first, I, I thought you looked somehow like the bad mask, but now looking at you closer, <laughs> I think it's like an Idris Elba. <laughs> Your side view. <laughs> I would take that any day. <laughs> <laughs> I always joke that I look like a Jigwa. Really? Honestly? I, I look like a Jigwa, but when he was poor. Ah! <laughs> He's a very rich man now. <laughs> you know, I was asking you what it meant to be a voting member of the Oscars. And, okay, would you just share that with us again in case uh, people out there don't know what it means to be a voting member of the Oscars? Well, I was invited to a voting membership of the Academy uh, of uh, Motion Picture arts and sciences, you know, a few months ago. It basically means that we, we vote for the films that win at the Oscars. Uh, and that's a huge privilege, but I think it's a privilege for our industry more okay. than anything else, because what it does indicate is that the eyes of the world are on our industry, mm. and that obviously um, they think we have potential, we have possibilities, uh, they think that, you know, the responsibility for creating that great African story um, is, is on Nigeria. And mm. I'm very proud uh, to be one of the Nigerians that's been selected. Yes. Oh, great. I was going to say well done because, I mean, it, it shows that you've actually done something worth recognizing for a body like that to be able to invite you to be a voting member. So well done, sir. Thank well you. done. So um, recently... We got to hear that uh, Genevieve's um, Lionheart movie, that was her first uh, debut directorial product work, and it, it was bought by Netflix. So what, for, for other filmmakers and for Nigeria, what, what, does that, what does that mean? Well, it just means that the, the landscape is opening more and more for Nigerian stories, for Nigerian storytellers. And you have to understand that, you know, the, the quality demand, both technically and in storytelling, um, for international platforms like Netflix is, is very high. Okay. Uh, it's very high because Netflix sells globally. And so it, it, it needs stories that um, a Nigerian can understand as much as a Japanese, an Indian, or an American can understand. I'm really very proud of Genevieve because I think that Genevieve has, has grown a craft. Um, both as an actor, uh, as a producer, and, and as a storyteller. What are the kind of production or the things to put in place to look at when making a movie to ensure that it gets, it cuts across and gets on this international platform? Well, first and foremost, the best stories are really um, stories that the theme uh, addresses something about a common human experience. Um, I always say to folks, there is nothing like a Nigerian movie. <laughs> there is a movie made in Nigeria. Because all storytelling is about the human experience. Um, you, you, you have to understand that stories are about characters. And, and when we tell the story of a character, in 90 minutes we tell the story and, and show this character evolve or change. And at the end, uh, they've overcome something. They've created something. We go to the movies. Uh, to be inspired. We go to the movies um, to reflect. We go to the movies to be able to, you know, see through something uh, that we've either been through or we, we really um, uh, find to be daunting. Mm -hmm. And at the end, we, we want to be able to talk about it later, not in the context of where we live, but in the context of who we are as human beings. And I think that's the critical uh, first thing is that we get the storytelling right and 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 we understand the difference between stories and plots uh, mm -hmm. a, a lot of our films are just a series of plots and those guys who who tell nigerian filmmakers to just keep making um, comedies are doing us a world of harm because storytelling is such a huge landscape and storytelling connects in many ways to you know 
um, a country like Nigeria that has such a, a complex range of, of, of cultures, a complex range of peoples, a complex range of, of views of life uh, in religion, in politics, in, you know. So really, we, we, are, um, we are constructed to be a great storytelling nation. So let's talk about uh, platforms and distribution networks. I mean, it's show business. So there's a business side to this. It's craft that obviously you should make profit from to mm. be able to make another one and make another one. So how would you say this has been for movie makers, looking at piracy itself, and then the, the fact that some movie makers say that they, if not break even, they, they sometimes run at loss. Well, the truth of the matter is we, we need to invest in the infrastructure of cinema. Um, we have less than 100 cinema houses. Uh, in terms of, of where those cinema houses are, um, I think our cinema houses are also a little bit elitist because they are all now buried inside uh, malls and shopping centers, which are not anywhere near the inner cities or, or even you know, near where the larger populations um, are. When I was growing up in Lagos, we had you know, like cinemas like La Scala, Danjuma, um, cinemas that you know, didn't have air conditioning, but they were sited in, in places like Yaba, in places like Oingbo, um, where the mass of the people were. And it, it allowed us to grow with a film culture. Uh, it was affordable. All of this, I think, are very important. Community cinema um, increases opportunity for filmmakers. Uh, right now, the number of cinema compared to the number of people making films um, doesn't add up. It, it's, simply, uh, it's simply very disadvantageous to an industry that is booming such as Nollywood. So we do need entrepreneurs who really want to invest in the infrastructure of cinema. Mm, great. And I must say congratulations on the battleground. Lots of Thank us, we, we love that show. And I'm myself glad. and my friends, yeah. we all gather around to see it. And yes. um, But let me ask you this. As an executive producer, a movie maker, yeah. a practitioner in the industry, how do you say these people are coming off? I mean, is it intelligently with a sense of understanding of what they're talking about? And w what are the things to look out for when wanting to review a movie? Well, I think, you know, I should say this before. I, I should say that there are, you know, a few film critics and film reviewers who maybe know what they're talking about. But unfortunately for us, we have not provided the, the training. We have not provided the... Uh, you know the, the mentoring that a lot of the reviewers need um, to do a good job. Often, whether it's online or newspapers, we tend to give the reviewing of a movie to a writer we think cannot do the serious stuff, and so you, you, there is that sense in which we don't understand that um, movie reviewing is serious stuff. It, it impacts the economy of that movie in a very powerful way. True. And so it's very important that, you know, um, a movie review doesn't turn into the demarketing of a film. And sometimes I read some of the reviews. Um, I have not been badly reviewed, so I can't, I'm not talking about my personal experience, but I am talking about some of the reviews that have been given to first time movie makers. To, to filmmakers who are young and, and struggling and trying to put a career together in cinema. And sometimes the reviewer demarkets their film in such a way that people don't give them a chance. Um, and those reviews sometimes, you know, also discourage and, and really just um, attacks the person of the filmmaker, not, not the film and not the content of the film. And I think this is very important that a reviewer understands movies from a storytelling perspective. When you come to a movie already talking about the star that was not there or the star that could have played it, uh, you're not reviewing the movie. You're, you're looking at the movie from the perspective of if you made it. Well, you can go and make yours <laughs> and, and not, you know, uh, put your biases in front. 
So we are going to have to pay attention to providing education. And I think the School of Media and Communication of an Atlantic University has already started a course in, in film review. And if you understand how much sweat, how much, how much effort, how much money uh, goes into making the film, uh, then a little respect for anybody who can start a film project and bring it to the end. I, I, I think it's, um, it's a very difficult and challenging thing to do. Uh, to, to run, uh, to try to have a career as a filmmaker. So I salute all these young people who, who are in the business of, of our business and, and hope that those who are reviewers mm. um, get the right education, get in storytelling, and, and come to it with an empathy mm. that, that allows them to understand. Mm. Wow, well done. Thank well you. Well done. And so when exactly should we come for the tour of the Badmas house? I really <laughs> want to see Kola Day. <laughs> <laughs> well, come. We shoot every day. We're daily. We're daily. So we, wow. we shoot every day. Wow. And um, whenever you come, I promise we'll, we'll show you. Yay. Have and, you meet the And stars. hopefully I get to show all of you. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the You're show. Welcome. It was wonderful it was having pleasure. you. And all the best. Thank you. Yeah. So do not go anywhere. We still have more amazing things coming your way on Nigerian Movies Today.